Hello, Crow's Cupboard tribe. This is the Rooster 2022 Eastern Astrological Forecast. Roosters are those born in 1957, 1969, 1981, 1993, 2005, 2017. Rooster, this is a very interesting year for you because it's going to be a very stressful year for you. You will be ignoring obvious opportunities. You'll be asking for help and feeling like you're not receiving it. You'll also be suffering from a bad temper and a decent amount of loneliness. The auspicious stars that sit in your palace of destiny this year are the Emperor Star and the Dragon Virtue Star. Unfortunately, the source energy you're drawing from this year is the Aggressor Star. So this means that you are feeling the most anxious, a lot of personal conflict, interior conflict. You've made a lot of choices lately, especially in the last year, that you are second guessing. And this constant second guessing is keeping you up at night and making you feel inefficient, making you feel like you're wasting your time or you're wasting your resources, making you feel disrespected, making you feel unwanted in new groups. This is a problem because you have never been very good at self-soothing. You have always relied on others for your support and for your entertainment. And this is a year for you to think about how you can stand in your own power, how you can be comfortable without the assistance of others, how you can manage your resources and not waste them in an attempt to find new friends or impress your friends. You have to think about how you can lead others without sacrificing your integrity. This is a year for you to lead yourself in many ways, to reshape yourself in many ways, to make yourself differently valuable. You don't have to throw away the way you were valuable in the past. Just put it on the shelf for right now. Find a new way to be valuable. Find new things that people will value in you and then present those to others in a soft way. You know, as I said, it's unfortunate that the aggressor star is your source energy because that's going to make you much more prone to conflict. And this is also a year where you are somewhat fragile. So the conflicts that you engage in, you are less likely to succeed at. This is not a year to engage in new sports competitions. This is not a year to invest heavily in new monetary ventures. This is not a time for you to do something that isn't in your best interests. It's not a time to gamble. How about that? You have to remember that this is the last of your three-year seed tending period. So in your 12-year cycle, this is akin to the last little bit of summer that comes when the farm is alive with tall, strong plants. What you started a few years back is taking hold now. And that's part of why you're so anxious because the results that you're seeing around you, you just don't feel like are worth the effort you know you put into these projects. Now, there are profits to be had, but you expected more. The relationships that you have are becoming stronger, but it's not happening fast enough for you. Who you are in your community is important because it's all about visibility. You don't want to be so visible that you're a target, but you want to be visible enough that people don't forget about you. You have felt forgotten about a lot in the last three or four years, and you want to change that. You want to be at the forefront of people's minds. You don't want to have your past mistakes rubbed in your face, and you don't want to be remembered as a bad guy, but you're not sure how to work out of that. It's easy. Do more for others than they do for you. Be the bigger person, which I know is a bitter pill to swallow, but be the bigger person. Be charitable. Give to others without asking what they're doing with the things you're giving to them. If you give a homeless person a bit of money, don't make it 
dependent upon what they're going to spend that money on. Whether or not they're buying food, water, or drugs isn't your business. If you're giving charitably, then simply give charitably. That will go a long way at benefiting you in the water tiger year. You also have to be very, very mindful of threats around you. And the biggest threats to you will be triggers. People will easily push you into conflicts and fits of rage and get you stuck in emotional loops you can't pull yourself out of. That's going to be the most dangerous thing for you this year. So either learn how to meditate, practice some yoga, maybe some Pilates, try some heavy journaling, or when it's appropriate, just remove yourself from social situations. That's going to be the safest way for you to make your way through this year. Plan ahead and make sure that you prepare appropriately for all of the situations you find yourself in. If you follow my advice, I think you'll probably turn this into a positive year. Just make sure that you're not taking personally the things that don't need to be taken personally. Sometimes bad things just happen and it's not because of you. So don't make it because of you. Until next year, Rooster, take care of yourself.